What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well today, and welcome back to some more Stone Ocean. We are here to watch episode three, which is titled The Visitor. Episode two had our first official stand battle in part six between Gwest and Goo Goo Dolls versus Jolene and Stone Free. And I cannot wait to see more of Stone Free and what her stand ability can do. I also am looking forward to seeing Jotaro pop back up at some point, as well as some of these other characters that were featured in the trailer, such as Emporio, I believe his name was, with the baseball cat and the ball. So I'm assuming he's one of the juveniles in the prison, as well as Foo Fighters, who seems to be one of the Joe Bros. And by the way, the opening is absolutely killer, and I cannot wait to listen to it on repeat once I'm done binging all 12 episodes so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into episode three of part six stone ocean all right here we go stone free okay so it's based off distance into an entity into a stand oh it's not strong enough to break the bars so that means it's not as strong as star platinum because can't star platinum break bars and stuff she ain't gonna pay you back jolene come on now ain't paying nobody back come on now isn't that the lunch lady oh okay a month in advance i'm pretty sure that was the lunch lady but she must be a prisoner as well they usually employ inmates and prisoners to do the work and they get like a small amount of pay 20 bucks for that spot? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to call her mother. Yeah. Ah, and there's Gwess. She's going to become, like, Jolene's subordinate for a bit, I bet, huh? Or maybe not. She's just going to, like, be the voice in the back of Jolene's head for a little bit. Because others might believe that she could be manipulated and taken advantage of. I see. You show a little bit of weakness, and it's just going to escalate. Wes seems to want to help her out now, ever since Jolene put the whooping on her last episode. <laughs> it looks like Wes wants to help out a little bit. Oh, her personality changed real quick. <laughs> Trying to push her luck, dude. You're going to uh, pull her hair? Okay, maybe not. It looked like there was a bookmark in that book that was kind of interesting. Putting on the thread, okay. Oh, damn, she put it in her coffee. Nickel, dude. Huh, <laughs> sorry. You want to pay me for, yeah, get, give her more than a dollar for the bathroom stall. How about that? Yep. Jolene's learning pretty quick, dude. He took the money and uh, kept her out there, too. That's right. Nobody's looking out for you in this in prison, let alone life, for the most part. Oh, she hit up the person that smacked that girl earlier. Jolene playing. There he is, Emporio, the little kid, the juvenile. I'm assuming he's a juvenile in, in, in the prison. Because we see him in the trailer, like behind Jolene, which was creepy as hell. <gasps> this, yeah, this is what we saw in the trailer. You'll have a visitor. A stand user? And how does Emporio know? His name is Emporio, right? How does he know this? What's his stand? Does he have a stand yet? Because you see him, like, when you see Foo Fighters, Hermes, and her in the opening, you see, um, you see Emporio, like, in the corner as well. Oof. There's the baseball. Dude, is the baseball... Oh, dude, right in her throat. Is the baseball a stand, bro? I wonder who's going to come visit. Isn't this the dude we see in the opening with the hat or whatever? Or is that just his hair? Weather report or forecast? I think it's weather report, right? Weather forecast is the... My man got a badonka donk. What the? Oh. Is this that weather report guy? Because he sort of looks like the... Dude, that was named Weather Report in the trailer, but he might be somebody else. Very interesting design, bro. So now we've seen a juvenile inmate, and we've seen a male inmate so far. 
alongside the other female inmates. The only person I could think of is Jotaro or the mom, but the mom's been reaching out to Jotaro, dude. I'm hoping it's Jotaro. I don't think we're going to see the mom at all, except in that trinket or in the picture. If it's Jotaro and if the other guy's a stand user or an enemy, then it's good that Jotaro's... It'd be good if it's Jotaro. Foreign language is forbidden. Yeah, they want to hear what they're talking about, obviously. What's that... What's that smoke? A cigarette. Is that Emporio again? It is. Is he no he must know what happens when people have visitations. He's been here for a while, I bet. Interesting. So that dude with the white hair is gonna do something that's worse than death. The hell is it? A bone? It's Jotaro, right? It fucking is, dude. Look at him looking so stylish in part six, man. I love watching the evolution of Jotaro Kujo, man. And my man looks younger and younger in every part. <laughs> oh, there's the mom. Okay. Oh, this is a flashback to when she stole before. So did she ever meet? Doesn't have a good relationship with her father. We just heard the father went back to Japan. You know, Jotaro. <laughs> yari, yari, yari. Ex-military. So that's not Weather Report. Weather Report's somebody else. Weather Report has like that hat or something. Oh, so he's blind. He was behind all of it? Oh, but why is he doing it? And who was his henchman? That threw the bystander. Just some random, like, thug, I guess? <laughs> You're in way over your head. He knows what's going on. Is it because she's a Joe star? It is. It's because she's a Joe star. He's linked to Dio? He worked for Dio. Dude. So Dio's coming back into the fold in this. We'll bypass the law. <laughs> We're just gonna go. We'll break your ass out. He wasn't really involved in part five that much, except for seeing uh, Endaba or whatever her name was, giving the arrows to Diavolo. That's weird. What's the water? Is that Jangle A's ability? Damn, it's like that, huh? That precision of star... Oh, wait. Was it not star platinum, but whatever this other guy's stand is? The world of... Yes, dude. We get to see Star Platinum in part six using the world, though, bro. The stand protected her. Beautiful. So this whole part is just a revenge plot. Are there going to be other Dio's followers besides him? Sniper Premium. Remember, he was a sniper. And he was ex-military, right? So... Yep. The work of an enemy stand, dude. And it was a work of an enemy stand from the very beginning. Getting her involved in this. It's like a little drone or something. It has keys on the bottom of it as well, it looks like. Yo, you're getting a crash course in stand battles here, Jolene. Of course it can. Aerodynamics there. We saw wind or whatever at, uh, when the world stopped time. You can see wind around Jolene. He's about to die. Protected his father. Oh, or daughter rather. But he got hit by a bullet it looks like. And it also hit the other guy as well. My man's always getting shot up. Remember the rat? 
All right, guys, there we have it. Episode three of Stone Ocean. We finally get to find out why Jolene is in this jail, uh, this prison, who set her up. And it's none other than one of Dio's fanatical followers who wants revenge on this Joe Stars for always thwarting his plans and, you know, eliminating him. It was 20 years ago when Joe Turo beat Dio. So I wonder if there's going to be some other followers of Dio in this part or if it's going to be this guy with his own followers and in turn it's also Dio's followers. John Galie, John Galie, I think his name was or whatever. Apparently he can shoot from very far distances like a sniper using that little like drone contraption. It almost looks like it's his spotter and I guess once it marks somebody the bullet can reach anywhere maybe. Maybe that's the stand ability. But it reacted when the CO was reacting. So what caused it to react? Was it sound? Was it him speaking and letting out, you know, CO2? Or was it movement? Or maybe it was just ruffles in the air around a target that is able to, you know, is able to target them because of it. Because they were talking about the movement of the thread causing air to move and shift because Jotaro got hit as well, which would kind of make it like Notorious B.I.G., right? Didn't Notorious B.I.G. target people that moved? Either way, we got our first main villain. Gwes was just a small little stand battle, but we're getting our first main villain, one of the people who's behind Jolene, or at least one of the people. I'm assuming there was more because we're getting him already in episode episode three, right? But we're getting to find out that Dio is going to be involved in this, in this part, which is absolutely amazing. We have really didn't get much of Dio in part four or part five, especially besides Giorno being his son. It's good to see Dio back is what I'm trying to say, because Dio is not my favorite villain of Jojo, but he is such a crucial villain and such a icon when it comes to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I mean, he's the first main villain. So it's kind of cool to see that he has followers coming after the Joe stars because the followers want revenge on what they did to Dio in the past. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in episode four. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button no matter if you're on Patreon or YouTube. Doing so shows me that you're enjoying the content, and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you very soon for another video.